Hey guys, in this video we're going to learn how to solve quadratics using the quadratic formula. So to find the solutions of a quadratic equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, um, the solutions we're going to use a, b, and c to use in our quadratic formula to figure out what the value of x is. So keep in mind our a cannot equal zero and this is when our b squared minus 4ac is going to be greater than or equal to zero. So you'll see what this actually, how this is associated with the quadratic formula in the actual formula. Okay. So how I always remember the quadratic formula, I always like to sing a song in my head. And for a minute, I'm going to let you guys get inside of my head to help you memorize the quadratic formula. <clears throat> so here we go. So we have our solutions of our quadratic formula would be x equals opposite b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over to a quadratic formula. So that's how I always remember the quadratic formula so that if I'm trying to solve a quadratic, I sing that little song in my head. So we have the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c and this is all being divided by 2 times a. And so all the letters are the coefficients of x squared, x, and then the constant of c. So in example 1 we're going to solve the quadratic using the quadratic formula and the very first thing that you need to do when you're given an equation or a quadratic and you're asked to solve for a quadratic formula is to make sure that it is set equal to zero and so far it's set equal to 3x so the first thing we're going to do is subtract 3x from both sides and rewrite the equation 2x squared minus 3x minus 5 equals zero so now I'm looking at all three terms and this doesn't have a GCF other than one um, so we're going to use the quadratic formula to solve what our solutions are so here's our formula of opposite b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a quadratic formula. That's I promise that's the last time I'll sing it in this video. So then here's our a which is 2, our b is negative 3, and our c is negative 5. So to find our solutions all we have to do is substitute in our values into the quadratic formula. So x equals opposite b, so opposite of negative 3, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so in parentheses negative 3 squared, minus 4 times 2 times negative 5, all over 2 times 2. So now from this point you have to simplify each component, okay, carefully. So I'm going to simplify the opposite of negative 3, which is 3, plus or minus the square root of negative 3 squared, which is 9, minus 4 times 2 times negative 5, which ends up being negative 40. So we have 9 minus negative 40, all divided by 4. Okay, so I'm getting close to a simplified solution. So I have my x equals 3 plus or minus the square root of 49, because 9 minus negative 40 is 49, all over 4. So I can actually take the square root of 49, that ends up being 7, divided by 4, so 3 plus or minus 7 over 4. So then our two solutions, we have x equals 3 plus 7 divided by 4, which ends up being 10 divided by 4, which reduces down to 5 halves. That's one solution, or root. And then our second solution would be 3 minus 7 divided by 4, which ends up being negative 4 divided by 4, which our, x, our second solution is x equals negative 1. So when you use the quadratic formula, set your quadratic equal to zero, and then substitute in our appropriate values. It's very important that you use parentheses around, if especially if you have a negative a, b, or c, and then you simplify what's in the square root, and then work yourself out of it with the two solutions of three plus or minus whatever simplified the radical is, all divided by four. So. Example 1, so we have a second part. We have 9x squared plus 12x plus 4 equals 0. And we're going to solve this quadratic using the quadratic formula. So here's our a, here's our b, and here's our c. And it's already set equal to 0, so that's perfect. And there's our quadratic formula. So to solve for our value of x, we have x equals opposite b 
plus or minus the square root of b squared, so that's 12 squared, minus 4 times 9 times 4, all over 2 times 9, and that's the quadratic formula. So we simplify from here. So if x equals negative 12 plus or minus the square root of 144 minus 144, that looks pretty fishy, but we're going to keep going, divided by 18. Simplified further, negative 12 plus or minus the square root of 0 all over 18. So keep in mind, so our b squared minus 4ac, if it's positive, we'll end up with two solutions. So the square root of 0 is actually just 0. So we're only going to use the negative 12 divided by 18 as our solution. So we're going to have one solution in this case. If the radical ends up being 0, we're going to have one solution. So when we simplify negative 12 over 18, your x is equal to negative 2 thirds. So now we saw an example where you have two solutions. So then if our radical is positive, a positive number, we're going to have two solutions. And in this case, since it's 0, we're going to have one solution. And the last example, we have 3x squared plus 4x equals negative 2. And we're going to solve this equation, this quadratic equation, using the quadratic formula. So the first thing we want to do is check out to see if it's at equal to 0, which it is not. So we're going to add 2 to both sides and rewrite the equation 3x squared plus 4x plus 2 equals 0. So we have our a, we have our b, and we have our c, and here's our quadratic formula up top. So to find our solutions, we have x equals opposite b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times 3 times 2 all over 2 times 3. There's your quadratic formula, so we simplify from here. So we have x equals negative 4, or opposite 4, which is negative 4, plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 4 times 3 times 2 all over 2 times 3. So equals, so this x equals negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 24 all over 6. Keep on going. x equals negative 4 plus or minus negative 8 divided by 6. And now from this point, if what you find underneath the square root sign is negative, that means you're not going to have a real solution. You're actually going to have something called an imaginary solution, which you'll learn in Algebra 2. So this is no solution. So if you find that in the square root is a negative number after you simplify your b squared minus 4ac, um, again, make sure that you do pay attention to your negative signs because you might just have an algebraic error. But if you find, and you, all your math is correct, that the inside the radical is a negative number, you're not going to have a real solution. So these, this is your video on how to use the quadratic formula. Make sure you write down any questions that you have on the side, and have a good day.